myself in it anymore. And I knew I'd end up in jail or the grave unless I did something drastic to change my life. Hi, my name is Angela Carter. What I'm about to share with you is hands down the most humiliating moment of my life. It was the first Christmas after my divorce and I can still feel the heat of my face blazing fire truck red. How I felt frozen in my shame. I had spent my entire life manifesting the perfect life for everyone else, but completely ignored myself in the process. I never felt like I had the time or energy for me. Even though I'd actively participated in every moment of the creation of my life, I just didn't see myself in it anymore. After my divorce, I spent months and months trying in vain to manifest an abundant life. I bought courses, followed gurus, and read countless books. I tried the law of attraction, the secret, and guided meditation. I always ended up right where I started, nowheresville. I realized that if I was going to actually live the life of my dreams, it was up to me to manifest it. No one else was going to create it for me, and no one was coming to save me. As you'll see, on a whim, I took a journey halfway around the world, desperately trying to end the humiliating pain of manifesting nothing but scarcity in my relationships, in my identity, and in my finances. I'm so glad I pulled the trigger on my worldwide journey of discovery, because I discovered what was blocking a life of abundance wasn't some kind of external force like I thought. What was blocking me was actually inside me, literally stored in my body. But as I'll share in this presentation, I discovered a strange but powerful switch that cleared everything that was blocking my abundance and turned my life around so fast it made my head spin. The journey was painful at the start, but once I discovered this switch, it rocked my world. I've never felt so connected in my relationships. I've never experienced such a deep connection with my source. And I never even knew I could feel so connected to financial abundance. What I've since discovered is this simple switch and the unlimited abundance it triggers is available to anyone. My humiliating story demonstrates how you too can discover how to rewrite your story into one of unlimited abundance, starting as soon as today. 18 months ago, I was hosting Christmas at my house, not long after my divorce from Tom. He'd been cheating on me for most of our 25-year marriage. Against my better judgment, I invited him over for Christmas for the sake of our two adult kids. Our oldest was Jody a junior in college. Tom Jr. was a freshman. Typical me, I went all out to make it special, as I always did. It was so easy to slip into my role as the engineer of the perfect life for my family. I had mentally prepared myself to be cordial to my philandering husband. That night, my kids had already arrived and had been telling me all about their fall semester at school. That's when the doorbell rang. I knew it was him, so I took a deep breath and mentally put on my big girl pants. But... I was not prepared for what came next. I answered the door to my ex-husband standing arm in arm with some Kim Kardashian lookalike who looked young enough to be his daughter. Her boobs were practically bursting out of her low-cut dress. Merry Christmas, he said, holding out a bottle of wine. I stood there frozen in my humiliation and shame. Then she came in for a hug, saying, Merry Christmas, you look so beautiful tonight. I turned around in slow motion to see my daughter with her eyes wide and her hand over her mouth. Tom Jr. was looking at her boobs, his eyes lustfully taking her in. In that moment, I knew I had to do something drastic to change my life. All I could say was, I'm going for a drive. How had my life come to this? This emptiness, this shame, this deep pain at living a life I wanted nothing to do with. Why had I been so successful creating as perfect a life as possible for everyone else? While well, mine felt so empty, meaningless, and futile. Taking refuge in a Barnes & Noble Starbucks, I started wandering aimlessly around the bookstore, sipping my steaming cup of cheer. Then I found myself in the travel section. I thought, I could just get on a plane and just leave. But I knew I needed something more than an escape or a break. I needed a deep reset. I needed to find myself, to like my life, to manifest the life I wanted to live in. I felt so lost. In desperation, I whispered a prayer. I don't know who I was praying to. I closed my eyes and whispered earnestly, God, I'm in serious trouble here. I truly don't know what to do. If you can, send me a sign. When I opened my eyes, I felt a small measure of peace. Then I noticed a travel book on Nepal. Inside were pictures of towering Himalayan mountains, tea houses, and elephants wading through a jungle river. 
I felt a tug on my sleeve. I looked down to see a cute young girl dressed in a red and white Christmas dress. Her blonde hair was in ringlets around her face, and her green eyes were staring right into mine. You should go see the elephants, she said confidently. I stood there dumbfounded. Was this the sign I'd just prayed for? I battled back and forth in my mind. I thought I was becoming a movie cliché. Unhappy middle-aged woman travels halfway around the world, finds happiness, love, and purpose, then lives happily ever after. Eat, pray, love was playing inside my head. But then I realized my pride couldn't go any lower. I decided right then to travel to Nepal and go see the elephants. What did I have to lose? Before I knew it, I was getting off the plane in Kathmandu. The next morning, I found a cafe, ordered tea, and looked out the window at the bustling city. I couldn't believe I was halfway around the world, alone, trying desperately to improve my life. I was having serious doubts that I could discover how to manifest my dream life. I was lost in my thoughts and doubts, mesmerized by the sounds, sights, and smells of this colorful city, when there was a tug on my sleeve, again. I turned to see a darling little boy with coal-black eyes and a shock of black hair. He had a flyer in his hand. He was pointing across the street to a hole-in-the-wall building. There was a colorful sign hanging above the door with a picture of an elephant. Go see the elephants, the little boy said, a bright smile on his face. I took the brochure from his hands and said, I'm on my way. I walked in through a beaded doorway to a dark room, incense wafting through the room. Sitting behind a desk was a sight I was not expecting. There was a middle-aged man there who I couldn't help but assume was an American. He had an American flag bandana wrapped around a cleanly shaved head. His salt and pepper beard came down to his chest. Good morning, he said with a welcoming smile. His eyes sparkled intelligence, warmth, and kindness. Uh, hello. I stammered, just a little surprised. Not expecting to see someone like me, he asked. Well, not exactly. Not to worry, he replied. I get that all the time. Welcome to Kathmandu. Why are you here? He asked. I want to see the elephants, I said. Of course, he said, peering uncomfortably deep into my eyes. But why are you here? At that moment, I knew he wasn't asking about my travel plans. He was asking why I traveled halfway around the world, by myself, and why I looked like a lost puppy. In that moment, I relaxed into a realization. I had nothing to lose. My quest for finding myself, for manifesting a life I loved, for escaping my dreary life, had led me here. I'd even asked God for a sign. Then, not once, but twice, a random child had told me to go see the elephants. So, I spilled my guts. I told him everything. It felt so good to get that all off my chest. I felt liberated just telling my story to someone who truly listened. I actually felt a little freer. Like, my dark story didn't have as much of a hold on me anymore. But, as you'll see, I was in for more. Much more. Anthony then asked me just three questions that so radically changed my life, I hardly recognized the old me anymore. These same questions can transform your life, too, helping you manifest a life you only thought was possible in the movies, a life with purpose and personal identity, deeply connected relationships, abundant health, not to mention wealth beyond your wildest dreams. The first question Anthony asked was this, have you heard of trauma stored in your cells of your body? His question took me by surprise. Stored bad memories? Sure. But I'd never heard of trauma stored in the physical body. Anthony went on to tell me about the world's number one authority on trauma. He's a Dutch researcher named Bessel van der Kolk. His life's work is a book called The Body Keeps the Score. In it, he describes how trauma, painful events, negative experiences are literally stored not just in our memories, but in the cells of our bodies. Anthony went on to tell me about something called epigenetics, which is stored trauma that is passed down from one generation to the next. In a now famous experiment, researchers took a group of mice and paired the scent of cherry blossoms with a mildly painful electric shock. Eventually, when they smelled cherry blossoms, the mice freaked out anticipating the shock. Then, the researchers tested their descendants. Even in the sixth generation, the scent of cherry blossoms would freak out mice who had no actual experience of the electric shock. They just had the genetic memory of it. I couldn't believe that in that moment, I was living in a body impacted not just with my own stored trauma, but with the stored trauma of my ancestors. I had to be honest, I had never heard of anything like this. Looking back on my life, 
and what I knew of just my parents' and grandparents' lives filled me with a sense of dread. What had I been carrying in my body for decades? Anthony then explained that this scientific discovery confirms what ancient Eastern teachings have held for millennia, that what we carry in our bodies blocks us from manifesting the lives we want, need, and deserve. Anthony told me about research out of the University of Vermont Medical Center, confirming that there are indeed energy centers in the body, where different types of bioenergy is stored. For centuries, these bioenergy centers have been called chakras. The ancients believed that there were seven chakras, or bioenergy centers. Think of them like spinning wheels, taking energy in, storing it, then releasing it. This energy is what empowers us to live our best lives. But when this energy gets blocked because of traumatic events, painful experiences, disappointments, and setbacks, we can't manifest the life we truly want. It's a phenomenon called blocked bioenergy. It's like a stream of interconnecting pools. When leaves, branches, and sticks clutter the stream connecting the pools, the flow is choked off, and everything we want, need, and deserve can't flow to us. It made all the sense in the world why I had manifested everything I didn't want and nothing I did. I felt a huge weight of responsibility lift off my shoulders. In that moment, I felt freer than I had in years. But then it hit me. Just because I knew what was blocking me from manifesting the life of my dreams didn't mean I knew how to unblock it. Anthony then asked me the second question that changed my life. Would you like to clear out what's blocking your energy so you can manifest the life you want? I said, of course, that's a no-brainer. He told me there are many ways to clear and balance the chakras. Some say yoga, others crystals. Some swear by long chakra-specific meditation sessions. Unfortunately, those are all long and complicated, he said, and require a level of expertise normal people just don't have. Most give up on it, abandoning the practice and their hope along with it. Anthony then asked the third and final question that changed my life. He said, would you like to know about the simple switch that quickly unleashes the full power of your body's bioenergy? Yes, I replied. Anthony went on to tell me that in his own journey, he discovered how to trigger an energy switch that was much faster and simpler than the ancient chakra teachings. He told me about how he came across an ancient Tibetan prophecy called the Tiger Prophecy. It foretold of a time when healing and balancing the chakras wasn't slow like an elephant but fast and powerful like a jungle tiger. This switch from slow to fast is now possible because of the latest neurological brainwave programming. Coupled with guided meditations and powerful visualizations from traditional chakra teachings, when put together in one simple audio track, the results are astounding. This synergistic combination of ancient techniques and modern technologies acts like a switch that quickly and powerfully clears and aligns all your bioenergy, all at once, which is why it's called the bioenergy switch. Then Anthony shared with me that discovering this bioenergy switch caused him to become an outcast to some of the more traditional meditation centers in Nepal. This bioenergy switch simply worked too fast for the traditionalists, and they felt it threatened their teachings. So he started his own meditation center to share it, and it was changing lives. Right then and there, I thought, this is exactly what I need. I don't have time to master strange techniques or devote my life to a guru, and I don't have the patience to figure out which chakras need rebalancing. I implored him to share the switch with me. He handed me a pair of headphones, told me to find a quiet place to sit, then press play. But to be honest, I felt a little dubious and skeptical. It sounded too simple and, well, not hard enough. Even though there are mountains of scientific studies that prove this East-meets-West approach is powerfully effective, the proof was in the pudding. I simply needed to give it a try. Again, what did I have to lose? So I decided to download the audio track onto my phone and take a week-long tour of the Chitwan jungle to see the elephants. Finally, I committed to listening to it every day at least once. Then I would come back and share what I'd experienced. I set out on my journey deep into the jungle and, frankly, had the time of my life. Besides seeing the elephants, they're beyond amazing, and seeing such beautiful wonders, I was listening to the Bioenergy Switch audio every single day, first thing in the morning. Sometimes I'd listen to it at night as well. The first two times I'd listened to it, I didn't feel anything, and I thought it was a big waste of my time. 
I almost said, forget it, but I decided to just go with the flow and enjoy the peaceful meditation. Then, on the third day, something changed. The transformation I experienced is actually difficult to describe. I'll tell you about all the external manifestations, like money, my dream house, and all that, in just a minute. But first, let me tell you about the deep-seated, soul-soothing peace I experienced. I could actually feel the bioenergy switch releasing a powerful flow of positive energy into my body. It was transforming how I saw and valued myself. I could feel limiting beliefs melting away. I could feel negative energy dissolving and positive energy taking control of my mind and body. I experienced a peace and balance in my own identity and purpose. It even transformed what I expected to come my way and how I felt about the future. Even more, I felt connected to my life, perhaps for the first time. I could see myself already living the life I was destined for. The moment of standing in shame in my living room when my ex showed up with his bimbo felt lifetimes ago now. The feeling of seeing life from the outside was no longer my reality. After having spent decades creating and manifesting the perfect life for everyone else, but disconnected from it myself, because of the bioenergy switch, I could feel myself connecting to my own identity in ways I'd only imagined. Plus, my body, and this is hard to explain, my body felt so fully alive, like a wet, heavy blanket had been lifted off me. I could see and feel the sun's energy. I could see and feel the energy of the elephants. I could see and feel the energy of people. And I was connected to that energy in powerful ways. No longer was I just a solitary human on planet Earth. I felt and started living out of my connection to everything. I received insights about my life and my journey. This wisdom purely bestowed upon me. I sensed a deep and profound love to and from all living things. Most importantly, I sensed a deep and profound love for I'd ever done, was doing, or would ever do. I went into that jungle, a frazzled, emotionally frayed woman at the end of her rope. I emerged confident, at peace, aligned, energized, filled up with love, and more connected to myself than I'd ever dreamed was possible. Fast forward to when I got back to the States. I quit my job in retail to become a consultant. Within the first week, I'm in $500 monthly contract. Then I manifested a $17,000 two-month consulting contract. That was just the first week. By the end of the first month, I was making over $10,000, and it's grown by 25% each month since then. A beautiful white Mercedes AMG with tan leather interior sits in my driveway. And within six months, I purchased my own dream home. I'm not sad that it made my ex extremely jealous. In the first year after coming home, I took amazing trips to the Maldives, Rio de Janeiro, and Paris. I was finally living my best life. And it happened not because I became a master of the chakras, or because I had become a yoga master or a meditation expert. I simply listened to the 30-minute audio track Anthony downloaded to my phone at least once a day in a quiet, calm, peaceful place. The bioenergy switch did the rest. After my jungle tour was over, I found Anthony again to thank him and to ask him a bold question. I asked if I could take this audio track back to the States and help other men and women like me who felt disconnected, lost, and blocked from living the life of their dreams. Anthony said no. He wanted to maintain control over the recording in his meditation center in Kathmandu. During my tour in the jungle, I had anticipated this. And I had an offer I didn't think he could refuse. What if with every sale of the audio track, we donate a portion of the proceeds to SaveTheElephant.org to help manifest more resources for this noble, beautiful, wise, and intelligent animal? Anthony thought for a moment, smiled, then said, Let's do it. Anthony and I made a few more adjustments based on the feedback we got from his meditation center students. And we couldn't be more excited to invite you to join the hundreds who have now transformed their lives and helped protect the elephants in the process. We've called it the Bioenergy Code. It's the only manifestation program based on the foundational ancient chakra teachings, cutting-edge neuroscience, and the bioenergy switch that's inside everyone. And it's only available on this website right now, but perhaps for only a limited time. Because, let's face it, the Bioenergy Code is so powerful, yet quick and simple to use. 
that it's already raising eyebrows among manifestation gurus and chakra masters with huge budgets. And some of them want to force us off the internet because it threatens their outdated methods. That's why I can't guarantee this information will be available tomorrow. And it's also why I'm urging you to take action right now. Now, the Bioenergy Code is not a weeks-long program. It's a single 30-minute audio meditation that you listen to once every day. This audio program is designed to transform your bioenergy from a force that's working against you into a force that works for you. You can finally clear away the energy that's holding you back from manifesting the life of your dreams and do it without having to figure out how to master all seven chakras or waste time to figure out which chakra needs clearing at any given time. The Bioenergy Code does it all for you, which means you'll see results regardless of your expertise. Once you flip the switch, the code takes over from there. Obviously, since every person is different, everyone's experience and results will be different. But I do promise you will experience results, the results you want to see in your life, the results that were hiding behind energy blocks your whole life. Here's what you'll experience with this wonder-working 30-minute audio. Phase 1 is called Welcome the Energy. This is where the scientifically researched audio frequencies help put your brain into a lined, receptive, and meditative state. Anthony discovered the exact frequencies that specifically target your bioenergy for proper alignment and healing. With the Bioenergy Code, there's no trying to meditate. There's no fight to change your mindset. The proprietary neurofrequencies do that for you. Anthony's research unearthed two frequencies that accomplish this. One is the God frequency, also known as the Golden Frequency, and the other is the 432 Hertz frequency. Now, at first, this all sounded like complicated science to me. But Anthony explained that these two frequencies by themselves had piles of scientific research behind them, and that these two frequencies have shown astounding results in helping promote the alignment of your body's bioenergy. Which means, if you just listened to these frequencies, you'd fall in love with the results. But that's just the beginning, because along with these audio frequencies that target your bioenergy, the core foundation is the guided meditation through the seven different bioenergy centers. Phase 2 of the Bioenergy Code is the Foundation Energy. This bioenergy center is associated with the Root Chakra. You require a strong sense of safety and security in order to thrive in life. So this phase leads you through identifying areas in your life where there's a lack of security, stability, and belonging, and clears blockages through curated visualizations and affirmations. The bioenergy switch is now activated and the current of manifestation can begin to flow. The third phase focuses on relational energy, also known as your sacral chakra. When flowing unobstructed, this energy center creates emotional intelligence, supports deep, meaningful relationships, and promotes feelings of pleasure. Through guided visualizations and affirmations, the bioenergy code will help you find a new sense of balance in your relationships by honoring your own wants, needs, and feelings ultimately developing a deep love for yourself and a deeper love of others. Phase 4 focuses on optimizing your personal power energy, also known as the solar plexus chakra. This is the power core of your being, your source of inner fire, personal power and happiness. Whatever is blocking your truest, most powerful self from manifesting itself will be cleared away, and your authentic self will emerge more powerful than ever. The fifth phase targets your heart energy, also known as the heart chakra. This is the center of love in your body, but it gets blocked because of unmet expectations and disappointments. During this phase, you'll feel your barriers of receiving love dissolve away, as well as the pain of past disappointments. Through visualization and affirmation, you'll discover how love is all around you, that it's the language of the universe, and that a pure and radiant love resides within you, without boundaries and without expectations. The sixth phase focuses on expression energy, also known as the throat chakra. This is the energy of self-expression and spoken truth. Owning and speaking your truth can be near impossible when our energy is bound by others' expectations of us. This phase helps you release what others may think of you. That way, you can become energized by your own beautiful self-expression of your truth. Your intuition energy is the focus of the seventh phase of bioenergy code, or the third eye chakra. So many people have been taught to doubt their own intuition, insight, and wisdom. 
But during this phase, self-doubt is erased and replaced by a confidence in your own ability to see things as they truly are. With clarity, insight, and wisdom, you'll experience a rebirth of your own intuition through the guided visualizations and affirmations. Phase 8 takes you to the top of your head with a focus on oneness energy, also known as the crown chakra. Most of us were raised on the foundational understanding of separation and individuality. But both ancient teachings and the latest energy research reveal that we're all intricately connected. During this phase, you'll experience a deep sense of oneness and wholeness with the energy of the universe. You'll be released to recognize the divine all around you and within you. The ninth and final phase is called power extension, and it guides you through releasing your visualizations but holding on to the energy of the emotions. You'll return to your conscious life with a new sense of expansive peace and warming love. Your bioenergy centers activating and clearing, opening the path of the manifestation current. You are enough. You are whole. There's nothing else you need from outside you to be complete or content. You have the energetic power within you to manifest all that you desire. Look, it seems like there are a gazillion manifestation gurus and products all claiming to be the way. But ultimately, you have to address the root of the problem. Our bodies store traumas, large and small. Traumas to our physical, emotional, and spiritual selves which only creates blockages that keep us from using our God-given bioenergy to manifest the life we want, need, and deserve. It's become pretty clear to me that none of these manifestation approaches are based on how the body, brain, and spirit actually work together in harmony. Anthony finally cracked the code with the bioenergy code by harnessing the best of the past traditions and modern technological understanding. By turning on the bioenergy switch, you can clear out the bioenergetic blockages with a flip of a switch. Like Anthony says, why wait months or years to manifest your very best life when it doesn't have to? With the bioenergy code, simply find a quiet, relaxing place where you can spend 30 uninterrupted minutes with your headphones. Then simply press play, and that's all there is to it. Follow the prompts, and the bioenergy switch does the work for you. Now, as for me... After that soul-destroying Christmas party led me on a journey of discovery around the world, I have a purpose and a mission to help as many people as possible discover how to quickly and easily align the energy centers in their bodies so they can finally clear what's blocking them from manifesting abundance. And I'm on a mission to help other people just like me learn how to use the bioenergy switch and manifest the life of their dreams. And I'm on a mission to help the elephants. I'll tell you more about that in just a minute. We've gotten some unwanted attention from manifestation gurus and the law of attraction police. Eventually, they'll come after us with everything they've got. Small-minded people do small-minded things. Plus, my ex has made some noise, and I'll be hearing from his lawyer. That's why Anthony and I are doing everything we can to make sure this stays on the Internet. That's why it's so important for you to take action today. Like I said, I'm on a mission to help as many people as possible discover how to turn the bioenergy switch on. It tears me up inside to think how many people are out there just like I was, believing nothing would ever change. How many men and women are out there who have no clue what's truly blocking their success and that there's a simple solution? In my world, it would be irresponsible to not share this transformational information. That's why I selected a small group of individuals I knew were struggling to try the program first before offering it to you. People like Phyllis from Texas would still be out in the cold without the bioenergy code. Here's what she had to say. My life is packed with stress, anxiety, and lots of pressure. The bioenergy code helped me connect with my family, even though there's been conflict, because I cleared these blockages. I was able to move beyond my doubts, fears, and pain. Or then I think about Thomas from Washington, who said, I lost my job due to the recent virus outbreak. I felt terrible every day, knowing that my family is depending on my income. Every night when I was in bed, I always felt like prey waiting for predators to hunt on. I tried looking for jobs or even just gigs to make some money, but nothing seemed to work. I came across... ...through my friend's recommendation, and I decided to listen to the guided meditation. I started out the meditation feeling restless and antsy, but... 
Somehow, something switched on within me. It was over. The next day, I got a call from a local company that they have a job offer for me. I am extremely grateful that I have actually manifested a job into my reality. The guided meditation also made me realize that there are many things I often took for granted. I will continuously use this program to help me manifest more things for me and my family, especially during this crisis period. Thank you. Then there's Kimberly from West Virginia who wrote, If you want to manifest miracles and feel good instantly, this meditation is for you. I could feel an instant raise in my vibration and a boost in mood when I finished this meditation. And it doesn't end here. This meditation has a power to manifest your desires into reality. I was able to spark a communication with a long-gone client, and I was even able to book further work with them. This meditation focuses perfectly on each chakra, along with an intro that drives me deeper into a meditative state, where the chakra cleansing happens effectively. All in all, this program is worth it. Anthony and I have received so many messages telling us that this program is responsible for helping them manifest multiple thousands of dollars. Because of that, some have insisted it's easily worth $3,000, if not more. But when you choose to invest in yourself today, your investment won't be anywhere close to that. And it won't even be $500, which, when you think of the abundance you stand to gain, is a drop in the bucket. Since my mission is to reach as many people like me who understand just how frustrating and crippling scarcity truly is, I've priced this as low as possible to remove every possible barrier. Today, when you choose to invest in yourself, your investment is only $37. That's enough to weed out the freebie seekers who won't actually take action. And it's just enough to cover our expenses. Ultimately, those who see the value and potential have told me this is the biggest no-brainer maybe ever. If you'd like to experience the bioenergy switch for yourself and clear out the energy blockages that are keeping you chained to scarcity, simply by hitting play on your smartphone, then click the big Add to Cart button just below this video right now. When you do, You'll be forwarded to a page where you'll enter your information so you can get instant access to our exclusive members area. Plus, you'll be able to confirm everything you're getting with your order today. Just so you know, we've partnered with the online platform called ClickBank to process our transactions. That's because they offer best-in-class, world-class, military-grade encryption and security. And like I mentioned, Anthony and I will donate a portion of your purchase to SaveTheElephant.org. So you're not just saying yes to yourself. You're also doing something tangible to help preserve the lives of these magnificent creatures. Now, since time is of the essence, I want you to have this simple yet powerful switch to activate your body's internal bioenergy code. And I'm going to include four amazing bonuses when you complete your order today. You're going to love them. The first bonus is called the Bioenergy Code Manual, and it retails for $47. This 154-page ebook is a deep dive into the science and traditions of the seven chakras. Not only will you discover the history of the chakras, you'll also discover how the bioenergy within each chakra gets blocked. As you gain clarity on the chakras, it'll only make clearing them up with the bioenergy code that much faster and easier. The second bonus is called 5-Minute Bioenergy Healing, valued at $147 price. Look, most people I know are busy. Between work schedules, family obligations, community, and worship involvement, who has time anymore? And 